Hey frogs, welcome to another day of learning. Today, we're gonna to be doing some blending. We're gonna learn a few more capital letters and we're gonna read a new Zach story or Zach and Ann story. So, I hope you're ready to do some learning with me today. Let's get our blending ears put on. Turn them up high. Oh, okay, our first word has four sounds today. And my sounds are w, e, k, er. Okay, I'm gonna say the sounds again. W, e, k, er. What's my word? Weaker. Good job. Ooh, now we're gonna change one of the sounds. Still four sounds. Here, I'm gonna use this hand. S, e, k, er. Eek er seeker. Good job. We're adding a sound. S n eek er sneaker. Also five sounds. S n eek e. Do it again. S n eek e. Sneaky. Oh, this one has six sounds. I don't think we've ever done one with six sounds before. Six sounds. S n eek e er. Ooh, let's do that again. That's a lot of sounds. S n eek e er. Sneakier. Okay. Now it's your turn to tell tell me say the sounds. My first word has four sounds. The word is tiger. Can you tell me the sounds in tiger? Good, I'll do it with you this time. T I G er tiger. Good. The next word has five sounds. The word is rabbit. Can you tell me the sounds in the word rabbit? Good, I'll do it with you. Er, ab, it, rabbit. The next word has four sounds. It is giraffe. Can you tell me the sounds? Good, I'll do it with you this time. J, er, af, giraffe. Good job. Ooh, this one has five words. Five sounds, not five words, that's silly. Five sounds. The word is raccoon. Can you tell me the sounds in raccoon? Good job, do it with me this time. Er, a, k, oon, raccoon. The next word has even more sounds than that other big word, it has seven sounds. Seven, that's crazy, seven sounds. Ooh, the word is Butterfly. Can you tell me the sounds in butterfly? Oh, good. Let's do it with me. B, a, t, er, f, o, i, butterfly. Great job. You guys are doing so good at your blending. I love to hear you blend. Okay, we have two new tricky words today. I think you guys might have seen some of these words before. So, I am going to pick up my eraser, sorry. I'm going to write the word on the board, and I want you to see if you know it. You might. This is my first new tricky word. Let's look at those sounds. Let's say the sounds and see if the word makes sense. W, at, w hat. Mmm. Oh, they're picking up my trash. Can you hear it? It's kind of loud. Sorry. W, at, wat. W hat, w hat. That doesn't sound like a word that I've read or heard before. 
So I don't think that's right because I know that tricky words don't always say the sounds they're supposed to say. So we have learned a lot of words with this WH. Oh, hold on. The trash is getting louder. We have learned a lot of words with a WH at the beginning. What does WH say when it's at the beginning of the word? What have we heard it say? Yeah, it just says wuh, wuh, wuh. That H doesn't say anything. It just says wuh, wuh. And then we know that AT says at, but I don't think that the A is saying its first sound in this word. So this A is being sneaky and tricky. And it actually says, uh, uh. So my word says, wuh, uh, wuh, uh, what? So it sounds like this is how it should be spelled. Wuh, uh, but that's not how we say it, spell it. Wuh, uh, what? But it looks like this. W H A T what? Spell it with me. W H A T what? Good job. Do it again. W H A T what? So this is a word that I use to ask a question. It's another questioning word. What did you eat for dinner last night? What do you like to read? What is your favorite animal? Can you think of a sentence that says what? Oh, those are great sentences. What? Spell it one more time with me. W-H-A-T, what? What? Good job. We have another new tricky word that we're learning today. And it kind of rhymes with the word, the tricky word we learned the other day. So I'm gonna write it on the board and see if you can figure it out. This is my tricky word. Now, if I just look at this tricky word and say the sounds, Saw, uh, uh, saw, that is a word, but I don't think this is how I spell that word. So the word saw looks like this. The word saw looks like this, S-A-W. So this word can't be saw because I know that S-A-W spells saw. This word, what do we know about the O when it comes at the end of a word sometimes? Not always, but a lot of the time. So think about words we know. Ooh, we might not know this one. Think about this. We know no, go, mmm. So what do you think this O is going to say? Yeah, it's going to say its name. It says, oh, so this word is s, oh, so. Say it again. S, oh, so. Spell it. S, o, so. S, o, so. One more time. S, o, so. So. I went to the store so I could get some milk. I went to the park so my son could play. The word so. Can you think of a word with the word, a sentence with the word so? Oh, those are great sentences. Nice job. Oh, okay, we have Four new capital letters today. Four new capital letters. Nope, I'm wrong. We have five.
few new capital letters today. So I'm going to draw out my lines. Think about, do you know where we left off yesterday? We did L, M, N, and O. L, M, N, O. Nope. L, M, N. We haven't done O, N. Oh my goodness. Miss V is just making all sorts of mistakes today. We did I, J, K, L, M. Those were the words we did, yes, letters we did yesterday. I, J, K, L, M. So what comes after M? What letter is next? Yeah, the letter N. Now, we have to be really careful when we write the letter N because if we don't remember to make our frog jump back up to the top after our first line down, our N is gonna be backwards. So, when we make the letter N, we start at the top baseline. We make a tall line down, tall line down. Then we have to frog jump back up to the top of that line to make our diagonal line down and our tall line back up again. If I forget and I come up diagonally, my N is gonna be backwards. So remember, tall line down, frog jump back up, diagonal line down, diagonal line up. I mean, tall line up. Oh my goodness. Miss V is just making so many mistakes today. Okay, get your magic pencil, write it with me. Tall line down, frog jump up, diagonal line down, straight back up to the top. Good, we're gonna do it together. We're gonna make our tall line down, jump up, diagonal line down, straight back up. Good, do it one more time. Diagonal line down, frog jump up, diagonal line, I mean, yeah, tall line down, frog jump up, diagonal line down, straight back up to the top baseline. Make sure your N is sitting, touching the top and bottom baseline with all of its lines. What comes after N? L, M, N, O, O comes next. Ooh, what does O say? Ah. Good, O starts at the top baseline. And we make a big circle all the way around. That is our capital O. It touches the top and bottom baseline and circles all the way around. Good, take out your magic pencil, do it with me. O. Oh, circle all the way around. Make sure you're touching the top and bottom baseline. Do it again, circle with me. Oh, all the way around. Oh, great job. Next, we have the letter P. What does P say? Good, P starts with a tall line down. I'm noticing that the lots of the capital letters start with a tall line down. Jump back up to the top and you're gonna circle, but you're gonna only circle to the middle dotted line. Circle to the middle dotted line. Remember, lowercase p is a hanging down letter, so it does the same thing under the dotted line. But capital B starts at the top baseline, touches the bottom baseline, and circles above the middle dotted line. Get your magic pencil out, do it with me. Tall line down, jump up, circle to the right. Good, do it again. Tall line down, jump up, circle to the right. One more time. Tall line down, jump up, circle to the right. It's kind of like a backwards nine. Then, I have what letter? What comes next? N O P Q. You're right. Q comes next. Q, we start just like O. It starts at the top baseline and makes a big circle around. Q makes a big circle around. And then it has a little diagonal line that doesn't touch any, it sits in between the middle dotted and the bottom baseline, 
and then makes a diagonal line to our bottom baseline. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It starts inside our circle and makes a diagonal line out. It doesn't touch the middle dotted line, but it does stop at the bottom baseline. So do that with me. Make your circle all the way around. Then give it a diagonal line. Circle all the way around, small diagonal line. Good, do it one more time. Circle all the way around, small diagonal line. Great job. We have one more letter today. What comes after Q? N O P Q R. Good job. R starts with a tall line down. Then I'm going to jump back up just like I did with P and I'm going to circle to the right. Then I'm not going to pick my pencil up and I'm going to make a diagonal line down to the bottom baseline. So you're going to make a P and then a diagonal line to the bottom baseline. So watch it again. Tall line down. Frog jump up. Circle to the right. Diagonal line to the bottom. Good. Do that with me. I'm going to do this one so you can see the second one. Tall line down. Jump up. Circle to the right. Diagonal line down. One more time. Tall line down. Frog jump up. Circle to the right. Diagonal line down. Great job. Those are our five capitals for today. You have your workbooks now, so I some workbook pages, so I want you to practice your capital letters today. And there's an up close read of Zach Gets a Pet that I would like you to practice reading. I hope you guys do a great job. Thanks for working with me, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.